Hi guys, how are you? Welcome back to Real Macro Economics and Investing, patreon.com slash real macro. All right, let's get started. First of all, don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow along. Don't forget to go back and watch some of these other videos um, that are public um, so you can understand what I'm saying in this video, okay? Uh, we're going to talk about um, uh, more about money creation, okay, and some of the confusion that people have about money. Um, so let's get started. All right, so let's get started. Um, don't confuse base money with money creation. Not the same thing, okay? So we have to find the priority. What comes first and what comes second, right? So money creation, as we talked about in previous videos, is a creditworthy borrower uh, taken out a loan that creates a deposit. When spent, okay, that cre uh, creates income, profit, and savings, all right? Those savings is what the government borrows when it issues bonds, okay? And then when the government borrows those dollars and spends them back into circulation or into the economy, all right, it creates money again because you're still going to have uh, a liability and an asset, right? Loans create deposits. Uh, so long as the government is credit worthy, okay, uh, can it ever run out of zeros to add to money? No, you can find it forever. Uh, the problem is uh, you end up, you know, starving billionaires, right? Like Zimbabwe, you end up like Sri Lanka, you end up like uh, Lebanon and Turkey and whatever, okay? Um, you can be credit worthy, but you're not going to get a whole lot of value <laughs> out of those uh, um, bonds that you're is issuing. You're just going to get a whole bunch of zeros at the end of it. All right. So, first comes the credit worthy borrower, the loan that creates a deposit, that creates profit income savings. Uh, uh, that, that comes first. Okay. Second comes base money. All right. Second comes base money. What is base money? It says it right here. Um, what is the monetary base? The monetary base is the total amount of currency. Okay, we're not talking about money now. Now we're talking about currency. The total amount of currency in circulation or held in reserves. We'll talk about that reserves later. Okay. Money in circulation is anything that is held and used by the general public while reserves refer to commercial bank deposits and any money held in reserves by these institutions at the central bank. All right. So what does that mean? So if you look at a dollar, okay, uh, that is currency. Okay. Um, it says right on there, distributed by the Federal Reserve. Okay. Why is that important? <laughs> well, it's important because the Federal Reserve cannot, by law, fund government deficits. By law, can't do it. Okay? Why is that important? Because it forces the conclusion that only bonds can fund government deficits. Okay? Only bonds. Well, where do those dollars come from? I just explained it to you, okay? Creditworthy borrower takes a loan, creates a deposit, spends it, creates income, profit, and savings, and then those savings go out and buy the bonds, okay? Um, okay, fair enough. So, the Federal Reserve can create a dollar, okay? One dollar, it can create a dollar, that's the currency, but it cannot create money, all right? Meaning it cannot um, fund government and in that way create money. It can't fund government spending. It is illegal, all right? Now, the dollar bills are just currency. They're not money, all right? Um, so unless you have savings in a bank you go to a bank teller or you go to an atm you can't pull out a dollar why because it doesn't exist <laughs> you see what i'm saying 
Now, the Fed can sit there and print up gazillions of dollars, have them all ready to go, okay? But the, if there's no credit in your savings account or checking account or whatever for you to withdraw from, a dollar cannot exist. I don't care how many trillions and gazillions of dollars the print has all ready to go, right? You got to have money creation first. Very, 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 very important to understand the priority. Because if a lot of people are going to try to trick you up and say, oh, look, you know, the base money and the base of base money is secondary. <laughs> Nobody cares about the base money. I mean, they do. And if you're if you need a dollar and you go out, you know, go buy a candy or something. <laughs> but that's not money creation. OK, it just represents what you have in a bank account now. Let's talk about reserves. What are reserves? Well, it tells you very clearly. Reserve is money, dollar bills, okay, held in reserves by these institutions, meaning banks, okay? And where do those banks uh, store those dollars, those uh, current that currency, right? At the central bank. All right. So, reserves our savings of the private sector. That's all reserves are. We just call them reserves because that's the money that interbanking uses. All right? But you cannot have a reserve without a deposit. <laughs> that's just not, not going to happen. All right? So, very important because a lot of people get confused. They'll, they'll jump from base money and then they'll go, well, you know, reserves. Well, reserve is base money, and reserves are just currency. They're not money, not money creation. Um, well, you use reserves in order to uh, buy a bond. Well, yeah, you use a deposit, because that's what a reserve is. You use that deposit to buy a bond, right? But who's buying the bond? The private sector is, you see? So uh, it's very important to understand these. Warren Buffett has deposits at a bank, and that bank has deposited his billion dollars in an account that the institution, the bank, has at the central bank. Okay? And he's just sitting there. And then if Buffett wants um, uh, to buy a billion dollars worth of bonds, then they exchange those uh, deposits of million dollars or billion dollars into bonds. That's it. It's not the bank that is buying a billion dollars worth of bonds. It's Buffett. The bank is the intermediator. Okay? They facilitate the transaction on behalf of the private sector. Very important to understand. So a lot of people get very confused with that as well, that it's the bank that are buying the bonds. New, no. <laughs> it says it right there. Reserves are deposits, money held in reserves by these institutions at the central bank. All right? So I hope that clarifies a lot. We'll probably be talking a lot more about this. Um, <coughs> write down your comments below. Don't forget to click like and subscribe uh, and follow along. We'll talk a lot more about this stuff, but I want to give you a general overview of uh, understanding some of the complexities that you're going to hear from disinformation, that base money comes before money creation and, and so forth, and reserves come from the Fed, not from private sector. You're going to hear a lot of nonsense, but I want to clarify them, and we can take them one by one um, in future videos. All right, guys, take care. Uh, have fun. Talk to you soon. Mm. Ciao, ciao.